what's going on guys welcome to another video it's gbp baby and yeah today we're going to be doing some back testing on the minute chart we are going to be looking at aussie dollar it's been a while since i've done some back testing um videos i have been back testing in my spare time um this is this is all i've done off camera but i decided to get back on camera with it because i know it's good content and it's always good to have something to refer back to so that's what we have here so we're going to start with we are actually looking at the most recent week so the week commencing the 21st of august and yeah we're going to start with the asian session on monday and then we're going to run straight into tuesday's trading because i tend not to trade mondays anyway so i'm not really too fussed although i did and although i did go through it before we're just going to start fresh and i am looking at pretty much everything so we're looking at price action in general in this sense as opposed to um anything specific in this video and I think that's just the best way to be when it comes to back testing because then you really get an under you really get to um, what do you call it like solidify your understanding of price action that way so that's what we're going to be doing sit back relax you know the drill and yeah hopefully we can get through hopefully we can get through um, the whole of Tuesday's price action but this does usually take me around a solid hour to get through one day especially on the minute because there's so much more to look at but yeah all good so we've got buy some relatively equal highs here and buy side liquidity So we have the breaking market structure over here. And then price return back to that swing low, which I believe is a breaker. High, low, high, high, and we broke lower. So, and there's a fair value gap there as well, which we can take note of. small one two that's an immediate rebalance here that's a consolidation but yeah guys um, I, I, to be honest back testing has made a significant difference to my trading and my trading experience it seems crazy but it does make a mad difference when you're constantly looking at the charts and exposing yourself it really allows you to understand price action way more like if you go and watch my trade execution videos you'll see how organized and you know uh processed they are so to speak like i'm following a certain process when it comes to executing my trades and that's because of the back testing it really just makes you comfortable and make you trust in your um, <clears throat> in your analysis because because i realized when it comes to trade and trust trust in your analysis is probably one of the biggest things to overcome because that's what allows you to make the trades and stay in the positions you really have to trust yeah trust your analysis short term run on stops here so here's also a sell then we run down into some lows into a fair value gap I'm just going to mark out this as sell side liquidity Break 
Ah, ouais, comme matin, on va pour rien. But this, to be honest, this price action in general isn't the best. Like, this isn't looking too ideal. I've got a breaker here. Breaker block will be this one. High, low, high, high break. So it's going to be this order block. Will be a breaker in itself. <coughs> breaker, and we'll also mark out the midpoint. See how price respects that midpoint. But I don't write this this kind of action here when it comes down and back and down and back. I don't really like it too much but what can you do this was monday's high so you can see we take that out well we take that out in the asian session I'm just gonna go straight to the midnight candle and we'll start working our way from here. So you can see that we come to 50% of the range. Now this is not uncommon. I've noticed this as a bit of theme that uh, price after midnight will come down to 50% of the Asian range. You see what I mean? So like here. You will see that we come and touch it and then we Stab it twice, one, two, and then we move higher. With aggression as well. <coughs> what I've also started to do is marking out my order blocks. It's very important to notice how order blocks stack on one another when they're, ma when they're moving through price action. This would have been an entry here. I've got a low, a high, a low, a low, and we break. So this would be a breaker high. We get about 30 minutes to the right. And then that would be a beautiful buy in the London session as it comes down into this candle. Now, this is quite an advanced. This is quite an advanced buy, but. Um, <laughs> and we went for this buy side I'd probably let off half my position above here so we can delineate that and you can see there's no run on stops this whole way up which is interesting so I'm guessing that happens in the New York do we come lower? yeah in New York we come lower And it's recognizing things like that, which allow you to build framework for your trades. Now, when I'm trading, I haven't got to the point where I'm comfortable to hold trades for like hours, so to speak. 
lot of my trades have been very uh, scalping, scalps, so to speak. So there's still place, there's still a lot of room for me to improve. I need to learn to hold for longer and to enter at a place where I know I, where I'm more comfortable. So at this point, I can't actually see what high we're taking out, but I'm, I'd assume there'd be some kind of premium PDRA up there. Now, to, um, where would I get out of this position? Well, as soon as I see a break in market structure, really, which is here. And we have a fair value gap here price just taps into that so and you'll see that this is actually the macro as well these dash lines delineate the macro 233 till 3 3 a.m. so this would be a perfect entry it comes back to the breaker and fair value gap as we've broken structure Technically, this is a mitigation block, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mitigation block. Why? Because we've got a high, low, lower high, so a failure to take out that high and then we break lower. So that would make this a mitigation block. We can see we come up, take out this short term swing highs, tag that mitigation block low, and then what happens? We aggressively break lower and take out this south side liquidity and then of course we should have another one on stops <coughs> so this move from here to here would be a very nice macro move let's let's hypothetically come out of the position here as this trades through here We have another break in market structure. Yes, we do. Here, do we have a fair value gap? Yes, we do. All of here, and then all of here. This can act as a breakaway gap. I'm assuming there is a this trades into an order block, but there's no break. There's no breaking structure here until this candle trace through there. So then we wait for the pullback, which would be here. Can be our breakaway. And that's going to be our fair value gap. And that's going to be where we're going to be buying. And where would we buy them? Then from there, I'd be targeting this swing high resting above here. side liquidity and you can see we work our way up nicely into that so let's mark out the order blocks and look at how the order blocks sit on each other so another, order block, oh, another fair value gap here this order block gets traded to on this candle quite smooth sailing up into these highs and that's where I'd get out of my position right above there have a breaker low high lower low we break higher and we 
trade to it on this candle <coughs> although it's very slight we do actually trade to it because we have a breaking market structure here yep breaking market structure see that all the blocks acting as resistance as we work our way down. High, low, high, low, low. So I see this as a break, as a I'd see this as a um, breaker block because why is it a breaker block? It's a breaker block because although this high didn't take out that high, it matched with it. So I'm guessing that's the same. It acts as the same premise. So we can make that breakout again. Mark out the fifty percent level. another macro here so where would the entry be here as we trade into this breaker it is getting very messy guys but if you've been watching you'll know exactly what's going you should know exactly what's going on excuse me To be honest, Aussie dollar is such a beautiful pair. I should trade them more often, to be honest. Um, you can measure that down, minus one, and you can see we reach that level here. I tend to do this in order to, um, to explain why I get out here because you can see we consolidate then we then have a nice pull back into this order block and then we break low again one more time breaker structure so then we look for anything below here what we could trade to well we have this red value gap here but then we also have this red value gap here so if we were to enter this position say from this candle we would have to put our stop loss below here because we should anticipate that this gets traded to and we wouldn't move our stop loss until this one kind gets taken which means that this whole move here we could um, withstand. Or 
also there's a breaker here and we can see we touched that breaker so there's reason for us to find support at this level you know support and then we move higher This week, this is a breaker. Although it's on the minute, it is still. These are still buys, which is why price didn't need to reach back into the order block. We just need to go to the breaker, but we can anticipate the breaker getting traded to. At this point, I would then move my stop from um, this candle to this low. Take out this buy side liquidity. Let's see in here. And then what happens when we take out liquidity? We have a roll of stops. Do we have a roll of stops here? Yes, we do. Here. How would I anticipate this move up? Well, I'd have to find the breaker, which would be low, high, low, low. So I'd have to cast up that and cast it up too. And you can see that's where we trade to before we break lower. So that means half my position will get let off here. If I see continuation, I'd let off the rest here. We've got immediate rebalance here. This fair value gap gets traded to, and the order block gets respected. That would that would signify to me a continuation up to the minus two level. So let's let off half our position here. I know it seems crazy you're doing this because it's all hindsight, but honestly guys, this is how you practice because like any skill in the world, <coughs> you're going to have to use old data in order to master it, to find excellence. Low, high, lower low, do we have a breaker block? Of course, where? Here, draw that out, what happens? Fair value gap and trade to it. look closely you can see where the fair value gap forms right here and that's a good sign because well we have this fair value gap as well which could be a breakaway gap and it shows bullishness right we haven't got through nearly enough but um we are coming up to the end of the video, so I'm going to have to do the rest of this in the second part of the video, which is fine. Beautiful breaking structure here and a return back to the breaker. Where's the breaker? Yep, this candle, high, low, high, high, and then we break lower. 
So that makes this kind of a breaker. And then where would I where would I target? I target these lows. If it even wants to get there, it does. But you can see we have all this manipulation as the New York session starts. So that's interesting. We can look into this in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.